between these two points, we can find the midpoint and the distance. We also talked about we could find the slope, but we're not going to be concerned about the slope right now. So to find the midpoint and the distance, we have coordinate points for these points, right? We actually have values for them. But what I want you to understand is that we can also write these as x and y, correct? But that comes a problem because I say, hey, Daniel, what's x? Here we are, uh, there's two x's, right? So what we want to do is differentiate them. I'll say this is 1, and that's y1. This is 2, that's y2. It has no change in the value of x and y. It's just a way to differentiate between the two, OK? So if I wanted to find the midpoint, all right, that means I want to find what is the difference between how between these two values that have changed, right? How have I changed from x1 to x2? What have I changed vertically? And how have I changed horizontally? Because if I find, if here's my two points, if I find the middle distance between x and the middle distance between y, that's my midpoint between the two points. Does that make sense? So we need to find the middle distance between x, x, and the middle distance between the y's. Now, let's go to a number line real quick. If I said here's 4 and here's 8, how do you find the distance between 4 and 8? What do you do? You can say you find the middle by adding 4 plus 8, dividing it by 2, right? You can find the average between the two points, yes? So for the midpoint formula, that's exactly what I'm going to want to do. I'm going to say x1 plus x2 divide by 2. That's going to tell me the middle of the x values. And if I do y1 plus y2, that's going to tell me the, distant, the, different, um, the middle of the y values. So that is your midpoint formula. Now let's figure it out. Negative 6 plus 3 divided by 2, comma. 2 plus 4 divided by 2. This becomes 3, so this becomes a negative 3 halves. This becomes 6 comma 3. That's the midpoint. So the midpoint is at negative 3 halves, which is 1.5, up 3. 1, 2, 3. Does that look like that's in the middle on my rough sketch? Not too bad, right? Okay. Now let's go ahead and find the distance, right? So the different, or when you're finding the midpoint, we wanted to find the middle point, right? Now we want to find the total distance. I will do that after lunch. Nice.